everyone, welcome to UCSB by Doncha, a diverse approach to understanding culture, society, and politics. I'm Teacher Don, and together we will explore and broaden our knowledge to be socially and culturally competent individuals. So brilliant students, did you do your assignment? I'm sure you did. Last week, I have introduced to you a new hashtag, Bawa Judgmental. Let me refresh your memory regarding the directions for our assignment. And as I do so, kindly bring out your UCSB notebooks or modules. Let's look at the statements I gave you as your assignment in the last episode. State your reasons why you beg to disagree with the given statements. You have to remember that you are a cultural relativist meaning you have to place yourself in the shoes of other people in order to understand them better. I will give you sample answers for the following items, but take note that these are not the only possible answers. Ilocanas are thrifty because they are poor. First of all, being thrifty doesn't automatically mean being poor, regardless of your province of origin. Being thrifty is one of the known attributes of the Ilocanas. They are penny-wise, meaning they know how to value their own money. When you don't say po or opo, you are impolite. This may sound correct at first, but not 100% true. Because our culture as Filipinos is diverse. Showing respect and being polite may be done in other ways and not just limited to saying po and opo. An example of this is the use of other polite expressions such as salamat, magandang araw, and many more. We have to avoid going to places like Sikihor and Kapis because monsters called aswangs infest these places. I would say that such a statement should be avoided as it is culturally offensive. This is a typical urban legend or kwentong bayan which has been passed from one generation to another. There you have it! We can always choose to be positive and see the beauty in our surroundings rather than doing the opposite. Always be careful whenever you shout out your observations, views, or opinions on social media to prevent any misunderstandings. And don't forget, ang hashtag Bawa Judgmental. Time flies so fast. Would you believe that we are already now in our fifth episode? Which means we are going to do a recap of our previous lessons. Sayang no, we can't really celebrate our fiestas because of this pandemic. But don't worry, we will be back to normal soon. But for now, I will take care of our virtual tour in the Philippines. How about we revisit some of our tourist destinations? And after this quick tour, we will have a quiz and I'll assure you it will be easy. Tara na at maglakbay! Our first stop, we're heading to the north. First, Pangasinan. It's a place where we can see some historical landmarks, such as the Japan-Philippine Friendship Garden, MacArthur Landing Marker, and the Railroad Locomotive No. 17, Campana Museum, Replica House of Fidel V. Ramos, Lingayan Capital, and Veterans Memorial Park. Our first stop in Pangasinan is the Gupan City. Don't you know that the Gupan is also called the Bangus Capital of the Philippines? Its Bangus festival is also known as Gilon. The Gupan is not only rich in Bangus and seafood, because in episode 2, we've got to see the different historical and cultural places of the city. Can you recall our topics in that episode? Yes, our discussion was on society. Society means a group of people who share the same laws, rights, and resources. One of the concepts of society is social difference. It refers to the uniqueness among individuals based on one's social characteristics and qualities. Given these differences, society then is experiencing social change, which is the evolution of society over time due to the changes in human behavior and interaction. And this is how culture and society are interconnected with each other because the changes that happen in the society through time affects their way of life, beliefs, and values. 
The Gupan City is an example of a society that has gone through these social and cultural changes which has helped in developing demographically and progress geographically. Still in the Gupan City, we're here at the Japan-Philippine Friendship Garden, one of the historical landmarks of the Gupan. During our last visit, we talked about culture. By definition, culture is a set of shared or common beliefs, languages, attitudes, customs, rituals, behaviors, religions, food, arts, dramas, and music of a particular group of people. Although we share a common belief or culture as Filipinos, we also have our differences as we are from different regions and provinces. These regional differences are what we call cultural variation. We also talked about the significance of cultural variation, which are environment, isolation, and technology. Can you still recall the characteristics and aspects of culture? Hmm. Remember that we use the song, Filipino ako, Filipino tayo. The title itself already serves as a reminder for all of us to patronize our own, especially in music. What are the characteristics of culture? Culture is shared, social, gratifying and idealistic, continuous and cumulative, transmitted and learned. Lastly, culture has variety. Don't you know that TikTok is part of popular culture? Culture is also varied or ethnocentric. That is why oftentimes people believe that one's culture is superior compared to others. This could lead to bullying, discrimination, racism, and worse, genocide. As mentioned last time by our guest, Professor Elnora B. Dudang, there is a need for us to become cultural relativists. Don't you know that the Philippines has a diverse culture reflected by the complexity of our history? And as we tour Pangasinan, you are probably smelling something fishy yet delectably familiar. That's right! It could be the Bagoong in a nearby town. Our second stop, Lingayen. Bagoong is considered a favorite Filipino dip or seasoning for vegetables and sour fruits. Think about bagoong isda paired with nilagang talong and hot steamy rice. Doesn't that thought make your mouth water? Don't you know that here they celebrate bagoong festival? Bago pa tayo tuluyang maglaway, let's go on with our review. In our previous episode, we went to Lingayen to see another one of the best provincial capitals in the Philippines the Veterans Memorial Park and the Campana Museum, where we can find the replica of the house of former President Fidel V. Ramos. As we toured Lingayen, we talked about politics. One important concept we've discussed regarding politics is political identity or political argument and how culture, society, and politics are interconnected in various observable ways. Let's leave the warm sun and trouble up north to enjoy the cool breeze of the City of Pines, the summer capital of the Philippines, Baguio City. Located in the northern part of the country, Baguio is known for its great hangout destinations such as Burnham Park, The Mansion, Mines View Park, The Botanical Garden, Wright Park, and one of the gems of Baguio City National High School, its Heritage and Cultural Resource Center. This is also a place where we can witness and observe cultural diversity, practiced and performed by the various tribes in the Baguio City, which can be linked to anthropology. Why? Because anthropology is the study of human beings and their ancestors through time and space in relation to their physical character, their environmental, and social relations as well as their culture. Can you still remember the fields of anthropology? Well, don't you worry, I'll definitely help you to recall them. The fields of anthropology are biological or physical anthropology, cultural anthropology, anthropological linguistics, and archaeology. Anthropology has the following goals. The first one is to observe some of the common traditions that are still practiced and preserved. 
Second is to discover what makes people different from each other. The third one is to create new knowledge through researches about humankind and behavior. These goals are showcased in the annual colorful celebration of the Panagbunga, the flower festival of the city. Don't you know that Baguio City is now open for tourists? Excited to plan your trip in OOTDs? I bet you are! We have seen a lot in Luzon. I guess we are now ready to fly to the Queen City of the South, Cebu City. One of the well-celebrated Cebuano social events that reflect their vibrant society is annual celebration of the Sinulo which is known as the Santo Nino Festival. Don't you wish that you live in this kind of society? The Cebuano's love for festivities is a big part of its culture and it reflects and represents the Visayan sociology. This term means the study of society, patterns of social interactions, social life, social change, and social causes and consequences of human behavior. That is why both local and international visitors are drawn to Cebu's culture. Not only that, Cebu has beautiful white sand beaches and the most delicious and authentic food favorites such as the Sinubba, Chicharon, and dried mangoes. All of these are known as Cebu's trademarks. To continue the discussion, the fields of sociology includes social organization, social psychology, applied sociology, and human ecology. We've also come across the goals of sociology, and they are to study the nature of humanity and to appreciate the society that we are a part of. Our visit to Cebu and our taste of their culture represent the social diversity of the Filipino. Here's another piece of trivia about Cebu. Don't you know that Cebu City is the home of the best lechons in the country and world-class delicacies? Hmm, so yummy! Finally, we are now on our last destination. We're off to Davao City. Don't you know that Davao City celebrates the wealth and good harvest that they get all year round by holding a grand event called the Katayawan Festival? In this festival, one will see the colorful and festive display of fruits, veggies, flowers, grains, and this is held every year. The Kadayawan Festival is oftentimes made possible by the initiative of the local government. And whenever we say government, we can associate it with political science, which means the systematic study of government, politics, and political power. Davao is indeed a good place to discuss political science. Sakto! Because it is the hometown of the current president of the country, President Rodrigo R. Duterte. As you may recall, political science pertains to political theory, political philosophy and ideologies, public management, human rights, geopolitics, and foreign policies. Let's enumerate the goals of political science. Its first goal, to make people better citizens. Second, to keep social order and harmony among different groups. Third, to protect the rights of an individual. And lastly, to help in avoiding conflict and promote cooperation. These goals are driven and achieved through the people within the society. I hope that you like our quick tour and review. Let's now head back to our homeroom. Wow! That about sums up our fun-filled educational journey. Are you now ready for our quiz? Don't you worry, because this is just an easy-peasy quiz in the form of Kahoot. Are you familiar with the game quiz? If not, Kahoot is a game-based learning platform. It is best played in groups. How to join the game? Step 1. You are to search Kahoot. Next, sign in using your Gmail accounts. Then enter the game pin. As the game host, I am to give you the PIN. Once the player receives the PIN, you can answer on your own devices while the questions are displayed on the screen. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each item. As the game host, I am to give you the PIN. The game PIN is 985-7399. 
So this time, we have seven volunteer students from the Dagupan City National High School Senior High School. They are Edison, Hazel, Daniela, Regine, Tiffany, Angeline, and Angela. Are you ready, guys? Can you raise your thumb if you are now ready to play the game? Well, that's great then. So let's start. For items number one to four, you are to identify the branch of science described in each item. Its goal is to look for the similarities and differences among the culture of societies around the world. What do you think is the answer? Anthropology, political science, or sociology? The answer is anthropology. Its goal is to look for the similarities and differences among the culture of societies around the world. So we have Angeline for the top spot. Question number two. This is the study of society, the patterns of social interactions, and the culture of everyday life. What do you think is the answer for this item? Is it anthropology, political science, or sociology? The answer is sociology. This is the study of society, the patterns of social interactions, and the culture of everyday life. The top spot goes to Angeline. Item number three, its main concern is to learn how to use power over others to maintain social order and harmony among citizens. Is it political science, sociology, or anthropology? The answer is political science. Its main concern is to learn how to use power over others to maintain social order and harmony among citizens. The top spot goes to Edison. Question number four. These answer certain social phenomena that happen, such as It Bulagas Calle Seria gaining millions of tweets worldwide. Is it anthropology, sociology, or political science? The answer is sociology. The first place goes to Regine. Question number five. Isko and Perla used to have family devotion every Saturday and explain to their children the reason for their faith. What characteristic is displayed here? Culture is learned, shared, continuous, or transmitted? The answer is, culture is shared. In this particular situation, we can see that culture is shared. The top spot goes to Regine Steele. Next question. Maharlika is a young woman of the Agtad tribe. She is excellent in performing their ethnic dance. What characteristic of culture is described here? Is it learned, shared, continuous, or transmitted? The answer is transmitted. Culture is transmitted. The top spot goes to Angeline. Number seven. The way Filipinos celebrate New Year is truly different from the way the Chinese celebrate the same event. Is it cumulative, idealistic, variety, or learned? What characteristic of culture is displayed here? Culture has variety. The top spot goes to Angeline. Number eight. Ben is an ethnocentric. He considers others, specifically indigenous tribes, as backwards who have no manners at all. He views his own culture as normal and uses it to measure other cultures. The top spot goes to... Angeline. Number nine. What do we call the kind of people who believe that their culture is superior compared to others? Is it an anthropologist, ethnocentric, cultural relativist, or sociologist? The correct answer is ethnocentric. Top spot goes to Angeline. 
Number 10. It is a belief that cultures are equally complex, meaning there is no such thing as a superior or inferior culture. Is it cultural variation, ethnocentrism, cultural relativism, or sociology? The correct answer is cultural relativism. Now let's see who got the top three spot. Top three, we have Hazel Esguera. Congratulations. Top two, Tiffany Cousy. And top one, we have Angeline. Congratulations, Angeline, for winning the top spot for UCSB by Doncha Quiz here in Kahoot. Once again, congratulations. It was an awesome game, right? Don't you worry, because I still have more games in our next episodes. By the way, for our next episode, we will explore the development and changes in the society. That's all for now. I'm Teacher Don, your Doncha Game Master in UCSB.